Texture bed site modifiers are a little unique. These modifiers do not adjust the elevation of a site or limit the effects of other modifiers, but instead they simply apply a texture to a specified area of the site. These can be used to represent a lawn, a mulch bed, sand, water, or other types of material on the site. Texture beds follow the same creation procedure as other site modifiers. You can create them using the site modifier tool directly, they can be created from existing geometry using the create objects from shapes command, or they can be created by a plugin, such as the hardscape or landscape area tools. We've covered the creation process a few times in previous chapters, so we won't go over that again. Check out the other site modifier chapters first if you'd like to review that process. Here we have a texture bed, representing a mulch bed. Let's take a look at the settings for this texture bed. First, just like other modifiers, texture beds can be applied either to the existing or the proposed model. In this case, the texture bed is applied to the proposed model, which is what we're looking at now. Next, we have the option to choose the class that will be used to assign the texture to the texture bed. If you're not familiar with class attributes, please take a moment to review the Introduction to Classes chapter. If we edit this class and look under the Texture category, we see that a mulch texture is chosen. The texture must be applied in this way, through a class attribute. Textures cannot be applied directly to a texture bed. And one final thing to remember, just like with other site modifiers, after making any change to the texture bed or the texture class, the site model must be updated to see those changes. It's also common to create a texture bed modifier through other objects, like hardscapes or landscape areas. For example, if you wanted to see a texture for a lawn, but also report on an area for quantities of sod needed for the lawn, it's better to create a landscape area with the needed plant information and set the 3D display to texture bed. This would be similar for hardscapes, such as pathways and patios. Texture beds are great for quickly representing different areas on a site model, whether it's a lawn, mulch bed, pond, creek, or other area. 